Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In this video we're gonna be taking a look at how to make a Acer tree in Blender. This was suggested by one of my subscribers called RoboGames and he asked me nicely if I could make a tutorial on how to make an Acer tree. And today we're just gonna be making something like this. This is something I already made so let's get into it. First thing we're going to do is add in a plane and we're only going to use this to get to get a vertice so just delete three vertices right here and now we're only left with one vertice select that vertice and then just go shift control alt c and geometry to origin and it's gonna center it to your 3d cursor if your 3d cursor is not centered just press shift c and now i'm going to go into front view and then you can just press extrude to extrude from this bottom vertice and now we want to make some ha some kind of a tree shape once i've done that i'm going to go over to modifiers tab and add a new modifier cold skin it's down here now i can select everything and scale it a bit so the branches are a bit more far apart and now we got this weird shape and all we have to do now is select each vertice and then just move with G to give it some depth if you can't see your vertices just press Z on your keyboard and to go into wireframe mode and you can add more branches just by extruding from um, the base vertice You really have to be careful because sometimes you'll get these glitches here and you just want to get rid of them by moving the branch. Now we're going to apply the modifier. If this is too low poly for you, you can go into the uh, modifiers tab and just add a subdivision surface modifier and it will look more detailed. But since I'm going for a very low poly style, I'm not going to do that. One thing I like to do is delete some of the faces because if you're making this for a game you want it to be optimized so just delete the faces from the branches from the top of tops of the branches you can press s z zero to flatten it and now you can move it to the center you can play around with this if you don't like the shape or you maybe want to fix something Last thing we have to do now is add some treetops, so just go shift A and add in a icosphere. Make sure the subdivisions are 2. You can go with 3 but I think that's a bit too much detail for this low poly style. Move it up and now you can scale it on shift Z. Now it's only going to scale on the X and Y axis. You maybe want to scale it a bit on the Z. And then using the proportional editing tool, you can enable that with O. And just pressing G and moving it, you will get some random shapes. And it's from now, from here on out, you just want to play around with this and see which shapes you can get. Once I get one, I'll just press Shift D to duplicate, rotate it a bit, and move it to a second position. I can rotate that also and then just use the tool to get some some more um, random shapes.
I think this is pretty good for the tree. This is all up to preference. You can play around this with this all day if you want. But now all that's left is just to parent all the tree tops together. So just select them all and then control J to parent them. You can go to the materials tab, add in a new material, call this one tree top and set its color to a red color. Something like this, I think. And then select the tree trunk Call it tree trunk and just set the material to a brown color and you have your tree if you're gonna use this for a game just um, join them together by selecting them and pressing ctrl J also if you're gonna use it for a game just make sure your center point is at the bottom so sh ctrl alt shift C to origin it to 3d cursor down here and uh, if you're gonna use it for Unity, I have a video on how to get things from Blender to Unity. You can check that out. And hopefully if you enjoyed, um, you know, leave a like, comment down below if you have any other ideas. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye bye.